Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Drew. And I'm Ronan, and this is Inside Out Town. 9th through 11th grade students are invited to join Oxford High School's National Honor Society Zoom meeting on February 28th at 6.30 p.m. Attending this meeting is a prerequisite for a formal invitation to, inv to our chapter at the end of your sophomore year. Students must have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to be el eligible to join. Any further questions, email Mr. Budden. This year, Oxford High School will be hosting the Battle of the Bands competition. Each team must have at least one OHS student to participate. Applications are due by April 9th. Any further questions, please contact Mr. Hill. Photo Club is still going with Mrs. LaSalle in room 402. If you are interested in participating or even building a new club, check with Mrs. LaSalle. As we shared earlier this year, Oxford High School senior Sean Wilson was named a semifinalist in the National Merit Scholarship Program. We have a fantastic update. Sean has been declared a finalist. Selection of the 7,140 National Merit Scholarship winners is now underway. This past Tuesday night, the girls basketball team took on West Bloomfield in an OAA Red League matchup. The girls played a tough and highly competitive game, but unfortunately fell to West Bloomfield. The girls hope to get back in the winning column as they head to Linden High School tonight for a non-league matchup. The spring season is right around the corner. With that comes Oxford Girls Tennis. The Oxford Girls Tennis Program tryouts will begin March 11th. Tryouts will be in Deer Lake Racquet Club. For any questions, please contact Coach Bailey at gailbailey at oxfordschools.org. Sports always leads to lots of debates, especially when it comes to the greatest teams ever. Drew and I checked with the boys basketball team about who they thought the greatest teams were. Best NBA team of all time. That Golden State Warriors team. 15-16? The 1989 De Detroit Pistons, uh, they were the bad boys. They beat up on everyone. Greatest team of all time, uh, I would have to say, after watching The Last Dance documentary, uh, 1991 Bulls, 100%. I would say the uh, 04 Pistons, because, you know, got to go with, with a hometown team, you know, just grit and grind team. I like that. I like that. I like that. 19, 1990 Pistons, Dennis Rodman, the bad boys, part two. Uh, the 2016 Golden State Warriors. 2016 Warriors, not even close. See, I'd have to go with the 2017 Warriors, but 96 Bulls, you know, they they were just something to, something else, something else. 2016 Warriors. 2016 Warriors. 2020 Montverde or 2016 Chino Hills? Is that Caden in them? It is. Give me that. <laughs> I got Montverde. That's that's not a game. All right, all right. 2020 Montverde. It's not even close. <laughs> Montverde, easy. Oh, that's Caden now? Yeah, that's Montverde. <laughs> Montverde, Montverde. Chino Hills. Uh, I say like 2016 Chino Hills. They got that chemistry, the Ball Brothers. It's a tough one. This is a tough one. I mean, I'd have to go Chino Hills. You know, the Ball Brothers were their phenoms at the time. And, you know, LaMelo being 14, running around varsity teams, that's hard to stop. Tonight, boys basketball ha has a triple header at Pontiac, and the hockey team takes on Heartland. Tomorrow, the bowling teams wrap up their season with their league tournament. Competitive cheer is off to Lake Orion for districts, along with the boys swim and dive begins their OAA white pre league prelims at home. Also this Saturday, varsity wrestling individual regionals at Lapeer. Best of luck to all the teams. February is Black History Month, and we have some inspiring individuals. Ursula Burns is an inspiring w businesswoman who made history as the first African-American woman to lead a Fortune 500 company. She served as the CEO of Xerox from 2009 to 2016. Her leadership and determination have paved the way for more diversity in the corporate world. Missy Copeland began her ballet, ballet studies at the late age of 13. Just two years later, she won first place in the Music Center Spotlight Awards. In June of 2015, Missy was promoted to principal dancer at the American Ballet, making her the first African-American woman to ever be promoted to the position in the company's 75-year history. Seniors, be sure to check your email. There's a QR code to submit photos and short video clips for the senior slideshow. Sign in with your school account and you can add to five pictures of you and your friends. Turning to the weather, after a cold week this week, this weekend looks fairly the same, with the highs hovering around the 30 degrees and the lows around 19 degrees. Expect some clouds throughout the weekend. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. Julia and Bella challenged a dating and married couple to see who knows each other best. Yeah. 
聞いたっていうのはなんかThat would be the song you would listen to all the time? With you, yeah. Just, I shouldn't say with you. Just a little bit. Okay, if we were in the car, it would be. <laughs> we'd probably start with Brady Showman. Mm, Disney. Brady Showman That's Disney. right, Disney. <laughs> and he would be Bon Jovi all the way, living on a prayer. <laughs> Thank you guys yep. for your time today. <laughs> Here's a quick look with Alex and Josh about this day in history. Did you know that on this day in history, in 2001, the first ever draft of the human genome was published, which marked a huge step in medical science and the way we understand the world. In 2003, the largest peaceful protest in history took place with up to 30 million participants in close to 600 cities protesting against the Iraq War. And finally, in 1978, we saw Leon Spinks defeat Muhammad Ali to become the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. That is all we have for today, folks. Please make sure to send all of your announcements to our email, announcements at oxfordschools.org. Also, subscribe to our OHS News Broadcasting YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at OHS Wildcats Media. Have a great day, Wildcats, and remember, radiate and, and shine. shine.